Hey everyone, we got a new case to look at today, but we're also going to compare this case to this new case because they are similar. This is the Arari case, and uh, it has been my main case, my daily driver case that I've been using for the past, how many months now, since I've owned the Galaxy S21 Ultra, probably like maybe seven, eight, nine months ago. And as you can see, it has started to yellow out over time. And we're also going to compare it to some of my other cases, clear cases. But the reason why I have been using the Arari case the most is because, number one, it is a clear case and it has the pen holder. So as you guys can see right over here, this is the pen holder. And that's why I've been using it a lot. And so right before I ordered this case, I, I went back to the uh spigen um i think it's called the spigen air p because of the pen holder that it also has with the uh d brand carbon fiber skin that i put on on the um spigen case to match with the skin that i have on the note s21 ultra also and i've had the midnight black note s21 ultra so it goes real well with this black carbon fiber skin so I don't know if my camera will pick it up. Let me move these out of the way. Um, if you guys have been following my videos, my most current camera, the Sony ZV-1, got stolen. Uh, someone just took it out of my trunk. And uh, I was watching another video from Tony and Chelsea Northrop where they were saying uh, camera thievery, camera theft has been an, at an all-time high especially at this time of year and guess what i'm one of those victims of camera theft so i'm, I'm back on my panasonic so i don't know if it's showing um like exactly all the yellowing and there's even like uh let's see if it shows like right here where there's like a a little bit of that micro dot pattern it's starting to show some kind of like haze or clouding especially right there on the sides as you can see and it's actually those are the same patterns that's on the carbon fiber skin so I don't know if uh, the plastic is like getting that imprint from the carbon fiber skin so I'm gonna apologize to you guys in advance if you can't see what I'm talking about and my camera with this Panasonic J85 if it's focusing really well on what I want to try to show you with that hazing effect on this case or if the case is even in focus so I know my it's this part is, fo is in focus I can see that on my LCD screen but see you can see the hazing right here mostly on the edges and yeah you could also see the yellowing effect on the sides on the edges so for comparison so for comparison, here is um, two other clear cases that I have. This one to my left or to my right is the Restone Crystal Clear Case. And you and this is a, a cheaper like $8 case that I hardly ever used because it doesn't have the S Pen. But as far as clarity and clear, uh, and uh, touch goes, like as far as like feel in the hand, this is one of the best cases for that and it's really cheap like I said just eight dollars at the time that I got it has very good grip on the sides and as you can see it's still pretty clear and then here is one of the more expensive or one of the most expensive if not the most expensive of the clear minimal cases that I have and this is the spec clear case and you can see it hardly looks like it's a uh, ever been used because it wasn't really ever hardly used so this one the spec was like probably around thirty dollars or almost thirty dollars because I got it on a sale and you could see the comparison between the two cases the Irari which was used a lot and then the spec which is hardly ever used you know if the spec or any of these cases had a s pen holder then i would be using them more often but i don't have a place to store the pen and I, I do use that s pen a lot and so that's where this new case comes in so let's move these aside 
This is the JWSC clear case. And at the time of making this review, it is $15.99 on Amazon with Prime shipping. And so it just comes in this Ziploc plastic bag. And uh, so you can, you know, read that or pause the video and read all the stuff here. It says protection case, uh, best quality case, mobile phone accessories. And then on the back, it also says protective case, mobile phone accessories, and then the model number for or the for the phone S21 Ultra and things like that. So let's just open it up. And so this clear case is similar, very similar, because uh, I was thinking of should I order another Irari case? And then I was thinking, what else do they have? I know they have the Beetle like uh, subcase, unicorn cases or whatever that also have a S Pen holder, but those cases are a three layer case. And I've had a three layer case before that I had returned that I reviewed on this channel. I can't remember the name right off the bat, but I had to return that because the uh, screen protector part was removing my screen, screen protector that I already uh, have on the uh, S21 Ultra. And uh, the screen protector that I bought, if you guys haven't seen the video, it was pretty expensive. I got it from T-Mobile. The what is that? I can't even think of it no more. But like I said, it came from T-Mobile and it was pretty expensive. So this is another clear case. And uh, it already came with a kickstand, as you can see right here. I thought it was already installed, but I guess you have to install it. So there's the middle kickstand um, that it comes with. And it you have to put it right there, I guess. Where the Irari right here... I took one of my Spigen um, Universal Metal Kickstands from one of my older cases, and I still had an old uh, some extra stickers for it, and uh, I stuck it onto the back of this um, using the Spigen Air P. I didn't want to put no sticker or kickstand on this uh, carbon fiber skin. I don't know how well it would it would have stuck on, and so I just left it as is. So using this case was nice but it doesn't have a kickstand so when I want to view movies uh, or you know like watch videos on it when I'm at work on, on my little breaks I'd have to try to prop it against something instead of having that kickstand there that was really convenient with um, when I was using the Arari case because the Arari case pretty much took care of everything it had the clear case so I could show off my D brand skin it had the S pen holder and then it made it even more complete by putting that uh, kickstand right there. So this one already has the kickstand built in. So let's compare them. So this one from JWS, it has these, uh, it has even more protection for the, uh, where the glass on the uh, Samsung S21 Ultra for the camera lens. Where's this one on the Arari is all open. But they're, like I said, they looked all pretty much the same as far as similarities go. Um, they have a lot of these, uh, like, extra corner bumpers. Although, uh, I will say the Irari looks like it has more of that bumper corner protection, as you can see right here on the Irari case. So when you lay this phone flat on its back, the back never really gets touched. But using a skin for it, I don't know. It, it gave it some of those textures. And like I said, the buttons were all really good on this Irari case. So we'll have to test out how the buttons are on this JWS case. But it looks like it also has that micro dot pattern to prevent that watermarking, oil spill looking effect. If you had the bare phone. So taking a look through, there, there you can see the buttons are marked for power, plus volume up, volume down. Uh, what's t What does this say on the side? It seems like the writing is in backwards or upside, oh yeah, backwards. 
or inverted so you'd have to look at it through this way and I think it's just the numbers and letters for S21 Ultra I could be wrong but that's what I'm thinking and I don't want to invert it because then you guys will never really see it well yeah here you go right there you can see 21 and then Ultra on there So um, let's install the phone onto the case and uh, see how it looks. Actually, as I'm looking on, at this case, there seems to be a lot of uh, protection here on the front for the uh, screen, as you can see. So hopefully it's, um, as you can see right here, there's like lip going all the way to the inside. So hopefully it's screen protector friendly. I think before we install the phone into the case, we have to put the kickstand inside here and it, the uh, the bag didn't come with any instructions so it's gonna make you guess I think it's pretty self-explanatory so I'm just gonna like maybe I don't know just do this which is kind of because this thing feels like metal no it's plastic because it doesn't feel cold to the touch and it is pretty cold right now in in the winter time because if it was metal and then you install it, you would have that's gonna scratch your phone if you don't have a skin, but I don't think it is, so yeah, so there it is. <laughs> it doesn't say if that's the proper way, but I'm thinking it is because then it goes out like so. Yeah, it has to be like that, right? So I guess it's installed, but it could still pop out unless you put the phone in uh, I try to put it in as flush as I can but I'm not sure how I feel about this because if this is actual metal it's gonna scratch you know the back of your phone so that's a big con or oversight on JWS's uh, part but let's see let's put the phone for see how easy to how easy it is to install the phone into the case And it it's, seems like it's a tighter fit than the Arari case. Uh, that's the one thing with the Arari is that um, over time it did feel like it started to get loose. Like the phone could probably pop out of the case if it were to take a really good fall. But this one seems way tighter. And I'm not really worried about that only because I have that carbon fiber skin. And see now it's flushed and and it's not going to pop out um but yeah it doesn't really at least on first at first glance it doesn't seem like it's um as crystal clear here on the back it's because it's got more micro dot patterns than the um irari does so hopefully it won't yellow out but see you need the micro dot pattern on the sides because the Arari did not yellow out too much here in the back. It yellowed out here on the sides where there is none of that micro dot pattern. And so, yeah, so as you can see, the uh, cutouts for the camera lens is really good. They line up and it gives you more protection because you actually have a cover here on the case versus the opening, just the opening right here on the Arari. And then here, see, you can see the little bumpers right there on the corners a little bit. But they're not as big as the bumpers from the Arari. And you can see all the lip here on the front. Especially, just like on the Arari case, there's more lip here where the S-Pen is. And at first glance, it looks like the uh, cutouts for the uh, USB-C and speakers seem like they're lined up. Uh, the camera, the microphone holes here up top look like they're lined up pretty well. Was there another microphone holes that I'm supposed to know? Um, okay, so first let's test the buttons. The power button is good to go. Nice and clicky and very responsive. 
I don't know if my camera is gonna or my microphone is gonna pick that up. Uh, let me let you guys hear it. That's for the uh, power button. Okay, so volume button, zoom down is good. Nice and responsive and clicky. I can go in little steps as you can see. I'm going little by little or I could just do the long press for the volume. So no problems, no issues with any of these buttons. And now we have to test the uh, cutouts. And there's only one, the uh, micro USB-C. Let's test out the USB-C port. Actually, before we test the cutout, why don't we see how the pen goes, right? Um, the pen, I'm thinking, is going to be similar to the Arari. It's going to go in flat ways where you can see the uh, Samsung logo or, yeah, the Samsung logo goes to, I think. Yep, there it is. Samsung S Pen is in flat ways instead of sideways. And uh, let's do a shake test to see how well it holds the phone or the uh, the S Pen. I'll just hold it like this. And... Yeah, that S Pen is not going anywhere. So that's good. Uh, the kickstand, let's test that out. Kickstand function works as advertised, as you guys can see. And uh, because the kickstand is like this, it probably can also work in landscape mode where the uh no in portrait mode no it does not work in portrait mode just landscape i thought it would work in portrait mode but i guess not because it's too much onto this side instead of in the middle but then if this thing is in the middle then it would block the wireless charging which we are going to test out but before we test wireless charging let's test that uh USD, USB C port right here. Okay, as usual, we're going to try it out with two US, USB C cables. The white USB cable is a normal um, fast speed USB C cable, and the uh, black USB C cable is my um, super fast wireless charging cable. So you can see the U black USB C cable is thicker on the end than the uh, normal USB C cable. So, first up, the normal USB-C cable and uh, no problems there as you can see fast charging 47 minutes left now let's test out the uh, thicker super fast charging cable and uh, no problems there too as you guys can see super fast charging also works with this fatter um, super fast charging cable so no issue with the USB-C port okay next up is wireless charging here's my Samsung 40 watt fast wireless charger um, normal portrait mode and it works as you guys can see uh, fast charging wireless charging is good in uh, normal portrait mode let's go upside down upside down works as you guys can see right there let's go in landscape mode with the uh, top of the phone facing me that works as you can see right here and then the other landscape mode with the bottom facing me turn off the screen again so you guys can see it charge there you go and uh, fast wireless charging is good to go down there so uh, no issues with the wireless charger even with the uh, this kickstand here in the back 
So that is our look at this JWS S21 Ultra clear case with S Pen holder. Uh, at the time of making this video, you can get it for $15.99 on, on Amazon with Prime shipping. All around, it's a really good case that offers like very good, very decent protection for a minimal um, slim clear case, which will show off the original look of your phone. Or if you have a sticker like or a vinyl skin like I have from Dbrand, you can show off your skin with the clear case, and it has the built-in kickstand. So this is one of the only few, if maybe the only case that I've seen right now, clear case that is that has a built-in kickstand and the S Pen holder. And uh, other than this thing, um, I don't know if it's metal or not. It probably isn't metal, so it's probably plastic. Except for maybe the inside has a little magnet to uh, keep the uh, kickstand from popping out. That's the only thing that I would say is a con. If it was metal on the inside, then it would scratch your phone. But it doesn't seem to be, so maybe no big deal. But yeah, very good looking case for very good protection to hold in your S Pen should you so desire if you have an S Pen or if you're a big user of the S Pen and you have like I said the convenience of that kickstand for you know propping your phone up for watching videos yeah it's going to be recommended by me so if you guys are interested in this case please use the links in my description as it does help out my channel and my charity the wounded warrior project if this review has informed and entertained you please like and subscribe follow me on instagram at the workout geek for all my latest happenings and great workout tips till next time everybody take care stay safe stay healthy and have a wonderful day Thank you.